Welcome back to the Castos YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about the ever important podcast RSS feed. Not to be confused by your blog's RSS feed, which is equally important, but along the same vein, the RSS feed allows the world to connect to the information of your podcast to distribute across, well, many of the distribution points like Apple, Spotify, Google, all the way down to Overcast and your favorite podcast players on your mobile devices. We're going to take a look at it today on the whiteboard. I've done other videos about the RSS feed on this channel before. If you want to see those videos, I'll have them linked up in the description below. Let's just start for a moment where your content lives, more specifically where your podcast content lives. And it can live in many places, but most commonly they're going to live at your WordPress website uh, or your Castos uh, hosting account here at castos.com. And each episode inside your website contains some information that's very important to these distribution points like Apple and Spotify out on the web. So, for example, you have things like, well, the show title. You have the duration of the episode. You have the author. You have all of these very important parts uh, of each episode that get sent out into what we like to consume uh, in our podcast player. So I'm going to say description. And all this information is here in your podcast hosting account or your website. And what the RSS feed does is broadcast that information out into the many different uh, channels of consumption. So it can go out to places like Apple uh, or Spotify. And when you go into your Apple iTunes or Apple Podcast app or Spotify app, you'll see the same information, title, duration, author, description, links, all of these things being broadcasted or displayed in your favorite apps all the way down to uh, your mobile app. So they go to these distribution points like Apple and Spotify, and then they go down into your podcast player or your audience's podcast player. And it's why it's so important to have a nice, fast, and efficient RSS feed from the source, from your either your WordPress website or your Castos hosting account, or wherever you host your podcast. Hopefully it's at Castos. And the RSS feed acts as that sort of business card. Everywhere you go, remember the days where you actually go to an in-person event and you'd hand out business cards. Uh, business car cards sort of died a long time ago. So did in-person events. Uh, but when they do come back, RSS feeds act as sort of that, here's my business card. Here's all the information. Here's where you can find me. You know, Here's what I'm about in this little brief card, this little brief moment in time. And once you have this RSS feed connected up to your Apple, Spotify, um, you know, TuneIn.fm, all these different places where you can distribute podcasts, it's going to continuously feed this information out. Every time you make a new episode, uh, you know, you add another episode into your website, it's going to send that information out uh, to your major distribution channels across the web. The RSS feed is very important uh, for open broadcasting, for uh, getting connected to any platform in the world. It's the opposite of what Spotify has done with a show like Joe Rogan, where you can only listen to that episode on the Spotify platform. In other words, that, epi that you know, Rogan's shows, if you don't already know, can only be accessed through Spotify. So there's no open RSS feed to say, okay, I can subscribe to Joe Rogan's podcast anywhere using any app that I want. No, it has to be, it has to remain in Spotify. And what the RSS feed empowers, what Joe Rogan had prior to the Spotify deal, was an open RSS feed where he was posting the shows on his website or his podcast host, and we could all listen to those episodes without having to install uh, the Spotify app. So the RSS feed, this open technology, this open web standard, is what allows podcasters that sort of freedom of distribution. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be in one spot once one corporation or company or brand doesn't own the distribution rights to your podcast. Okay? And here at Castos, we're always looking at the most you know, recent standards, open standards for podcast 
uh, RSS feed. So we're always adding uh, either new fields that come about that's going to empower uh, you as a creator to get more audience listeners, to get more downloads, to monetize a podcast, to add multimedia to a podcast description. Uh, but we're keeping it fast, uh, as fast as possible so that it can connect up to all of these other major distribution points. Uh, the end of 2020, Amazon released or opened up uh, their, uh, well, there are many platforms now, audio, uh, uh, the audiobook platform, uh, their uh, music platform are now all connected up to their podcast distribution platform. And when Amazon released, we immediately made uh, an Amazon connection to one click this RSS feed into Amazon. So at Castos, we're saying, look, as soon as a new distribution point opens up, that's going to help Castos customers and other podcasters. We're going to make that available inside of our app as quickly as possible. So all you have to do is one click and submit right into or register right with Amazon, right, for their, for their podcasts. So the RSS feed at the end of the day, it's sort of the heartbeat to distributing to your audience, to getting more listeners, right? To getting to these other distribution points, Apple, Spotify, Amazon, Google, et cetera. And then those uh, connect up to mobile players, iPhones, iPads, Android devices, laptops, et cetera, et cetera. But this sits at the heart of it. The RSS feed sits at the heart of distributing your podcasts. Again, you can do it from your WordPress website. You can use Word, well, with our plugin, Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin, you can use WordPress as your RSS feed, as your distribution point, or you can be hosting at Castos so that in the event, you know, if you ever have a critical failure on your WordPress website, storage, bandwidth limits, that kind of thing, moving it over to something like Castos to host those uh, episodes is really going to benefit you as you grow the podcast. If you're looking for better analytics, um, you know, more insights into subscribers or monetizing a podcast, uh, you're not going to find uh, a better place than castos.com to do that. The RSS feed, oh so important to podcasters. I hope this video made sense for you today. hope you had some fun. Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. Thumbs up if you like the video. We'll see you maybe in another Whiteboard Wednesday, if it's even Wednesday when I release this video. Okay, we'll see you in the next video.